All right, folks, let's get straight to it. You're trying to lose weight. You ditch the regular soda because, well, nine teaspoons of sugar in a single can. That's like taking a sugar bath. So you switch to diet soda thinking you've outsmarted the system and then the scale doesn't bulge. Or worse, you actually gain weight. What? How? I mean, the label stated zero calories, zero sugar. It's basically air with bubbles, right? Wrong. Today we're going deep into the science behind why diet soda might actually be making you fat. And before you clutch that can like it's your emotional support beverage, let me be clear. If you're using it to transition off sugar-filled soda, fine. But should you keep drinking it forever? That's another story. So buckle up, this is about to get interesting. Let's start with the good news. If you're trying to escape the madness of regular soda, diet soda can be a useful stepping stone. Think of it like those little water wings you give a kid learning to swim. Helpful at first, but embarrassing if you're still wearing them at 30. The goal is to get off regular soda, which is basically liquid candy. That's a non-negotiable. But here's the thing, just because diet soda doesn't have regular regular sugar doesn't mean it isn't innocent. The question is, what is it doing to your brain, your gut, your metabolism, your weight? That's where things get real. All right, let's talk about dopamine, the real feel-good chemical. This is the stuff that makes you feel great when you accomplish something or when you eat sugar. Regular soda floods your brain with dopamine, which is why you crave it. But diet soda, it hijacks the same system. Artificial sweeteners still trigger dopamine release, but with none of the real energy that sugar provides. It's like fooling your brain into thinking it's just won the lottery, only to realize the check bounce. And what happens when you constantly chase that fake high? Your brain starts to down-regulate dopamine receptors. That means over time you need more sweetness to get the same effect. Suddenly, plain water tastes boring, whole foods taste bland, and you're stuck in a cycle of needing ultra-sweetened stuff just to feel satisfied. And guess what? That's how food companies keep you hooked. Let's go deeper into artificial sweetener. Diet soda contains things like aspartame, sucralose, or saccharin. Now your brain is a bit of a drama queen. It expects real sugar when it tastes something sweet. So when you drink a diet soda, your brain thinks, oh, sugar's coming, let's get ready to party. It starts releasing insulin and preparing for an energy spike. But then, nothing, no actual sugar arrives. It's like a date who says they're picking you up at seven and never shows up. So what happens next? Your brain, feeling betrayed, cranks up your cravings. It wants real sugar now. So later that day, maybe you accidentally eat that cookie, or two, or five, and boom, you just and did all the zero calories you thought you saved. Now let's talk about your gut, which by the way is like the control center for everything from digestion to mood to yep, your weight. Your gut bacteria are like a tiny microscopic army. Some of them help you burn fat, others make you store fat. When you drink diet soda, Artificial sweeteners, especially sucralose, mess with that balance. In that setting, studies show that you can wipe out good bacteria and encourage the kind that produces weight gain. Think of your gut like a garden. Diet soda is basically like pouring weed killer on it, except the weeds survive and your best plants die. And if that wasn't bad enough, artificial sweeteners can also make your gut lining more permeable, also known as a leaky gut. And trust me, you don't want that. That's like having a security system at your house that lets burglars walk right in. One of the wildest things about diet soda is that even though it doesn't have sugar, it can still spike insulin in some people. This is a big deal because insulin is the fat storage hormone. The higher your insulin, the harder it is to lose weight. How does this happen? Well, remember I said your brain expects sugar. Sometimes your body just releases insulin anyway, just in case. So now, even though you didn't drink actual sugar, your body is still in fat storage mode. Congratulations, you just got tricked. Ever wonder why diet soda is still a billion dollar industry? It's not just because people like the taste. It's because companies are really good at selling you a dream. Look at the ads, slim, happy people sipping their zero calorie drinks, athletes, celebrities, people running on the beach. The message? Drink this and you'll be fit and happy too. But what's the reality? Study after study shows that people who drink 
More diet soda often weigh more, not less than the people who don't. Why? Because of all of the metabolic tricks we've already talked about. And let's not forget the biggest scam of them all. Companies renaming artificial sweeteners to make them sound healthier. Ever seen a drink labeled with stevia blend and thought it was all natural? Surprise, it's often mixed with sucralose or urethritol. They want you to feel good about your choice while still keeping you hooked. Now let's play a little game of what ifs. Imagine you decide, you know what? I don't care, I love my diet soda. What happens over the next five to 10 years? One year later, you're still hooked on sweet flavors. So your cravings haven't gone away. You're still snacking more than you should. You've noticed your weight isn't dropping like you expected. Five years later, you have more insulin resistance. Maybe you've been diagnosed with prediabetes. Your gut health is worse and you're struggling with bloating, poor digestion and weird food intolerances. You're still hooked on sweet drinks and struggling to drink plain water. 10 years later, your body is struggling to manage blood sugar even though you're not drinking real sugar. Your metabolism is slower. Losing weight feels impossible. Your risk for metabolic disease has increased and it all started with what you thought was a healthy choice. See how this isn't just about weight? It's about how diet soda keeps you stuck in a cycle that makes real sustainable health almost impossible. So now you know, diet soda isn't the innocent weight loss tool it's marketed to be. It's a trick, one that keeps you addicted to sweetness, messes with your gut, spikes your insulin, and may actually lead to weight gain over time. I know quitting diet soda isn't easy, but you deserve better than being stuck in a cycle designed by food companies to keep you hooked. If you're ready to break free, start by taking one small step today Switch to something better. Your future self will thank you. Now, if this video opened your eyes, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. And let me know in the comments, what's been your experience with diet soda? Have you quit? Are you struggling? Let's talk about it. I'm Dr. Hampton, and I'll see you in my next video.